My name is Mark Obermuller. I'm the founder and president of Vista Business Group. I started the company in 2010 after a 20-year career in banking. I decided to go into this industry because of my financial background. Vista focuses on helping business owners sell their businesses. There are three keys to our success. The first key is price expectation. We'll work with the owner to value the business and make sure their expectations match what the market is willing to pay. The second key to our success are the memorandums. They're both detailed and accurate, which creates a very efficient process. The third key is that Vista Business Group has employees who are focused on finding buyers for every client business. The process of selling the business starts with us, so we'll meet with a potential new client and then walk them through the different options that are available to sell their business, and then we educate them on what the process looks like as it unfolds. Our full listing process is what our sellers use the majority of the time. It is designed to be the most efficient process and to bring the highest price for the business. It does so because all of our buyers know they're in competition with one another, so they provide their best offer up front. This option fits owners best because it's done in a reasonable amount of time. One of the things that most owners don't understand is that while we will be bringing them multiple offers at the same time, their level of involvement is the same as if they're working with one, one potential buyer at a time. This is a result of all of the work we do up front in the process to put forth an offer. Confidentiality is of course critical. The vast majority of the time, the clients of the firm as well as the employees don't know that the business is selling until after the fact, so we make sure that the seller and then the new owner have a chance to collaborate on the best way to share that information. I become involved in the buying process when the owner decides to move forward with one of our full listing options. At that point in time, I work with them review the financials and help provide an assessment of where we feel the offers are going to fall when we take it to market. A big part of my role in the process of education is making sure they understand the process. The steps that we will go through when we take the business to market so that there aren't any surprises. We work very closely with them during that, that valuation piece and really build up a good working relationship and we have a good understanding of the business when we're done. After the clients have decided to go forward with a full listing, I work with them to prepare a confidential memorandum and other marketing documents. It answers all the questions that we think that a potential buyer would have about the business. This way we only have to ask the client once all the questions and that way it's all in one document. After the memorandum is complete, the next step is to create a strategic marketing plan. While we're making the memorandum, I'm reaching out to uh, who we consider to be potential buyers, um, getting their information and then once we have that information gathered, we'll communicate to them the memorandum, any other information we may have that they may need to make a decision. My goal is to bring as many sufficient buyers to the project as possible. Once we begin to, to get a sufficient amount of buyers and people begin to make offers, the process transitions to Mark. When we market a business and we take it through the bidding process, we'll set a date and time, usually two to three weeks into the bidding process, and ask that all the indications of interest be submitted. An indication of interest is a soft offer, and so it'll be a range. It'll say that we think the business is worth between three million and three and a half million, and, and that we'll structure 80% cash and 20% seller note as an example. So we'll gather in those indications of interest, we'll put them in a spreadsheet so it's an apples to apples comparison. We'll review that with the owner and, and let the owner pick the top five to maybe ten offers that they see as the strongest offers. 
We'll set up meetings between the business owner and the potential buyer. These meetings usually last an hour and allows the business owner to interview the buyer and the buyer to interview the owner. Also, as part of this process, we'll provide them access to detailed financial statements and other documents they need to submit a letter of intent and we'll help the business owner negotiate until one of the letters of intent is signed. We know that most business owners will consider selling their business. Whether that's one year away or 10 years away, we'll be here to help them through that process. With our procedures, we can sell their business at a good price within a reasonable amount of time.